I tried for my inner circle member to find out support, to find, to get in contact with the company and there was nobody there. But they're still charging money. That's really a no-go. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Payless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and today it's a really critical topic. Talking about note-taking apps for the first time in 2017, I was showing you a lot of different note-taking apps on the iPad Pro for your Apple Pencil. And one of my beloved note-taking apps back then was Notes Plus. Because Notes Plus was one of the only apps that supported OCR, so handwriting to text conversion, but also a lot of other great features when it comes to using Apple Pencil only in order to write notes and edit notes and so on. Another tool that I was really into due to its functionality building up handwritten mind maps was Cardflow. I heard it many times now from the paperless movement community when they used Cardflow flows or notes plus the app broke down and they weren't able to recover applications for example in card flow one of you guys had more than 600 cards in there seems it overwhelmed the app and it just broke and the support is not reachable and that's really issue they are still charging money they're still having this thing online but there's no support anymore there was no possibility to recover the information and this is really horrible and this happens to you. Once you find an application and you think that's the one, this can be really dangerous because it might solve one problem that you have. For example, like Cardflow, that you can connect the different note cards with each other and so on. This is great. However, once you lose this information, this is really horrible. And what you can do to protect yourself and to find out if it is really worth downloading an app and using it on a daily basis in your business even or with your clients, you will find out now. Okay, I just opened up the App Store and I go now for Notes Plus, for example. This was even hyped by Apple at some point when a school is back thing was going on. And I got this suggestion here. Your back to school survival guide. And this one, the life hack section. <laughs> suggesting you apps for handwritten note-taking or you know just for writing and what is offered there is just i don't i don't understand it i really don't understand it because when you look at here you always have to be careful looking here on version history okay how frequently does this application receive updates? What type of updates are implemented here and so on? One year ago, working on the stability and work on iPadOS 13. Then two months ago, optimized for iOS 14 and Apple Pencil Scribble feature. So this is already, I mean, it's the iPadOS now. So some bug fixes. You can always click more. There's nothing more. And you see some bug fixes. And then you can already learn this way how serious are these bug fixes. So for example, fix bug where password protected notebooks did not validate when it comes back from background. So whatever this means, it sounds serious. It sounds like it wasn't possible to validate the password that you entered to actually access your notebooks. Okay, for example. So we can go on and on. But I think this already shows you two months ago here was the last optimization 6.5 we open up notes plus i still have it there okay so it's also already just zooming in and out it is already very buggy and clunky this is the performance is really not there anymore so writing is still fast and i could you know highlight it this way i can do this I can do this and then select. So there was really great ideas, but it is so stuttery. I'm not sure if you can really see this on screen, but it is really not looking good anymore. So I think this is the reason when we go back to the App Store, why it already got so many bad ratings in the meantime. And I think that's another good indicator. Sometimes there are promotions going on and people really you know, rate to get something for free inside the app. I hate this. This shouldn't be allowed, I think. So if you have a lot of five-star comments and they are only just short sentences or, you know, 
not talking about specific features in the app. This is an indicator that's a generic or random review, in my opinion. And then I usually try to look at the bad ratings. There are also, you know, can be people complaining about something that has nothing to do with the app itself. That That's one thing that you really need to look into. So let's look for card flow, which was really the severe thing that happened there to one of my members. They are charging money. So here we see a lot of great no, uh, great ratings. See, I still have it installed and we go here and we go to version history and we see here in the version history, one year ago, one year ago, how many iPad OS updates came in between that could crash this app. So it needs to be revisited. And I think Apple really needs to take more care about these apps. Why it's so important that I'm saying here, see, the reviews are two years ago, three years ago, even more. So we have now in August, great app with bugs, crashes all over the time. So the, the closer you come to this year, you see more and more bad reviews. But overall, as it got so many reviews, it still stays at 4.5. So people will download this. And then the worst thing is that in this app, you can actually pay monthly or yearly subscription for this app. And this is really the worst, I think, that you are paying on a consistent basis. And as I usually say, I don't mind paying money for apps. It's great that they keep improving the app and they need to work, you know, and they need to live from this. But if there's no support anymore, and I really had this situation where I tried for my Inner Circle member to find out support, to find, to get in contact with Cardflow with the company, and there was nobody there but they're still charging money. That's really a no-go. If you're not supporting your app anymore, if you don't even care, then please take it down. Let people know who are using this app. Whole lives are in these apps. And this is, this is something why I think using tools like Notion and everybody's using it or Evernote still makes sense to build up your life in tools like this because they won't go away that quickly. And usually they are so in public that they really need to take care if they shut down, that you can get your notes and all this. This is not the case for apps like this, like Cardflow or Notes Plus and so on. Your notes are gone. If you can't open up the app anymore because due to a new update on the iPad device and you can't access your notes, you can't open your note files or boards, that's it. There's no support anymore, nothing. And this is what I really wanted to make you aware of. When you're looking for tools, when you tell me, oh, did you check out this tool or did you check out this tool? Yes, usually I look at this and then I look at something like the version history and things like this. And I already know you need to be careful using these apps, adding a lot of information in there, it might get lost. So if it happened to you, let me know in the comments below. Let others know that this is really an issue. If you have another opinion, also let us know in the comments below. Happy always to learn more about this stuff and to share it with others. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.